Savage keeps him on the floor. And DiBartolomeo gets called for a technical for some play acting. I don't think there's any need for it. Yeah, I understand the referee wants to stamp it out, but there's, there's just no need for this call. Nice pass to Pierre. Pierre had an open look at a three, couldn't get it. Both teams have been straight man to man throughout this contest. Motley's baseline jump shot is good. Well, this is a promising bit of play for Jonathan Motley. That's something kicking off here. Yeah, Cannon is really getting under the skin of Marco Goodyearich. You know, Lawrence, Lawrence, I'll tell you what, Cannon's got to be careful. Well, Lawrence Zykus with a hard foul in the first half, an unsportsmanlike foul, was a signal. And so Cannon and Goodyearich get offsetting technicals. Gannon doesn't give an inch. Baldwin split his previous pair, makes them both this time six of nine tonight, three of ten from the field. So his 12 points really have come at a push. The technical calls on Monica. And breathe a little bit more easily. Diallo, did he get a handle? Wow, it's a foul. I think Baldwin wants to call an out for Diallo. Baldwin said he kicked his leg. But Baldwin's going to close out here. We saw this in the game against Real Madrid when Zanabusa at the end of the game against Partizan got called for kicking out a leg. I'd love to see that again if our production crew could bring it to us. Referees called a foul on Baldwin. For Baldwin, it's his third. And Diallo goes to the line. And another technical foul here for Baldwin. He's got to be careful because his club's back in the game. For Wade Baldwin, his club's back in the game. Now Baldwin already had Oh, this is so unfortunate for Makami because they got back in the game. The game. Dante Exum working the jab step, drives, looks to dunk on top of Eddie Tavares. Got above the rim but couldn't find the finish. And he's saying, hold on a minute, where's my foul? Now, remember, he left game two on crutches. Did Dante Exum? Oh, my goodness. Possesses fantastic springs, but he seems to be moving freely, which is good to see. Wondered for a moment whether he ro rolled his ankle to the inside. So, this low scoring third quarter continues to see points at a premium. Now, Dante Exum has been hit with a tech. Oh, my goodness. Well, he attacked the lane, looked to dunk on Eddie Tavares. To score, Elliot Kobo's shot, no good. Another offensive rebound. So three times. This, oh, what a strip. Oh, no, 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 no. It's going to get another technical, and he's going to wear it, and he's going to go, but this is a clean strip. The referees have had a tough night. They've had a really tough night. And Hilliard's going to have to walk. But this is as clean a strip as you will see. So Hilliard's going to have to go on two technicals. Watch this. James is going to come here. That is a clean strip. James is looking for a call. And Monaco are imploding. The technical, though, on the McCarvey bench.
McCarvey picked up six technicals in game two. Come out with Brown, Baldwin, Hilliard, Martin, and Nebo. I do not know what Martin gives him tonight. And there's a moving screen for Martin. There's no doubt about this screen. I honestly do know not do not know what Jarrell Martin has given Coach Katash tonight. That's his fourth personal. That's an obvious call. There's no doubt it's a moving screen. And he doesn't have a case. John DiBartolomeo does, but Martin, he's still moving. It's an easy call. And it's really Baldwin who, and you can see what Coach Abradovich thinks about that one. Well, Dante Hall, we've got a technical foul here now. I think on Coach Abradovich, Hall is gonna get called for a moving screen here which really wasn't, just a good hard screen. And it looked like he was stepping off the floor before he was being substituted. And now guards who can shoot free throws. And Hilliard, perfect from the line. Players just asking for a little bit of housekeeping here as there was a body on the floor. John Brown just having a chat with Wade Baldwin. I'll tell you what, Wade Baldwin is going nose to nose. But players better be careful here. I don't uh, think Wade Baldwin liked what John Brown had to say, but I don't think John Brown is the kind of hombre that you want to go toe to toe with. He is a fierce basketball player. Referees want to talk this one through. Not entirely sure what happened. Okay, go for this one. And the referees are going to give a technical to each player. So it looks like it's a technical to John Brown. And a technical to Jake Cohen. It, it, it. James again! Oh my goodness! Oh mon dieu! Dante Hall, this time in traffic! Look at this, the shake and the shimmy inside out dribble from Mike James. Samu play! What a play! Dante Hall! He was in some company up there. It looks like Dante, maybe a little bit over exuberant, got a T as he emoted. Pace Davis lost the handle, and he's going to throw it twice. Well, you can see right now in this crowd. The Peace and Friendship Stadium seats 12,000. You got about 12,000 referees in here. It's definitely a foul. Is it on Slukas or Vizhenkov? And so far, I have to commend the referees because they've done a good job keeping this game from boiling over. So Coach Atutis with another technical. So that's his basket. Martin can't make a shot, and I'm not sure why Coach Katash is going to stay with him. We've got a technical foul here on Coach Katash. I think it's because he feels Hilliard was fouled, which he probably was. And he's just making his point known. Twenty four points. And now he's whistled for the foul, which will be his third as Lukovic just tries to drive away from him. And the complaint from Jesikovic.
Here's the technical foul. James to his backcourt mate, Okobo, no good. And the ball just isn't bouncing Maccabi's way. You know, sometimes the ball just doesn't bounce your way. And your heart goes out to them because they're working hard, they're getting stops. I have no idea why Coach Katash is getting a technical here. It's just a bad bounce of the ball. That's the previous possession. Monaco this time get back well in transition. Force Maccabi to play in the half court. Diallo. Sees his night get worse and worse. And Monaco at the foul limit, so Maccabi at the line to try and stretch what is already the largest lead. And tempers, perhaps inevitably, are finally starting to fray. Sasha Obradovic losing his cool. He might be done. Well, this is a series to remain headstrong. Sasha Obradovic will not remain on the bench for the remainder of game four. And these fans are loving it. Deep into the shot clock, shakes off El Chacho into the lane, gets the shot away and will go to the free throw line for two. And you bow him out with a tenth of a second. Wow. Right the 24 second shot clock. No one's going to like that call. Let's get a look at that from behind. That's the second foul by Yui. I think that was the second one by Yui from behind. He got Cannon before, remember the push in the back. Now this one they call on Chacho. And look, I just saw the bench right there. You saw Zana Musa sitting on the bench as he walks by. As in himself. And there's number three on Tavares right there. That's the biggest play of the game so far with 4.30 to go. And I'm going to tell you what, nobody likes the call, but it's not Tavares' fault. You see him moving right there. Chad's got the ball a little bit early. And you have to call that call if you're a referee because of the movement and now Tavares has to go back to the bench and you see Partizan's eyes lighten up right now as they're going to try to put the foot on the gas as it's going to be Indaye coming in to take over for the big man now the question is do they maintain the zone and it looks like there's another technical foul called and let me check who that technical was on because if that's on Tavares that's going to be four for him. He's got three right now on the list as Nunnally hits the three. Their defense with four fouls. Oh, steal, Taylor. He fumbles, recovers, can't put it in, but Kavich is backing him up. Let the bodies hit the floor. This is going to be a basketball battle. And now, I think a technical is it on Coach Max Vitis, who's asking for the unsportsmanlike foul, and emotions are fraying. Nobody's happy. And let's take a look. Abrina's lost it, Taylor recovered it. I think that was all ball from Abrines. Taylor breaking free, clattered into midair. But picked up his dribble a little too early. Hayes Davis checks the shot clock. Hayes Davis lets fly. Got it! Nigel Hayes Davis lets it fly! And the fans are getting really close to the referee. You can see the Fenerbahce fans are apologizing. Well, is it good or not? Hayes Davis rises, does he get it off? He doesn't. Great work by our production crew. It's not gonna count. And Coach Atutis needs to keep his cool.
Coach Antunes is upset with somebody. Good direction to meet. He says, I'm good. Referee's got to review this. Okay. It's Give definitely. So, so. The ball is in the hair. The ball is in the hair. I understand. Clock. Red light. Uh, red light. Six. Go. Okay. So. 106 on the game clock. 106. So a minute six no to go, basket. the basket will not count. What a big basket that would have been for Fenerbahce. So a one possession game, three points the difference. If you're in the Pacos, you don't need a three. We'll see how they manage this possession. Do they go deep in the shot clock or do they want something quick? 